Yo, what is going on guys? Philosophers here and welcome back to another video on the DCEU. Um, yes, you guys have read that title right. Um, for this video, I will be covering news related to whatever you guys have just read on the title. And it will possibly be related to the Flash movie or... I'm I'm guessing it's the Flash movie because I don't I don't know what other movie it could be, but before I do that, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, so you are aware of more DCEU content coming your way. I am very close to five hundred subscribers, so let's get that as soon as possible. Okay, so there have been several articles lately about Robert Downey Jr. being in talks with Warner Brothers for playing a character in a new DC movie. Now, these articles have no evidence whatsoever related to Robert Downey Jr. playing in a, playing a DC character, so which leads you to believe that this could possibly be fake. But anything is really possible from like the movie movie world. As you guys could see, Robert Robert Pattinson, an actor no one expected to be Batman, has officially become Batman. So anything is literally possible. What's to say that Robert Downey Jr. can't play a character in DC? Now, yes, he has worked in Marvel films before, so wouldn't this be like a problem for him? Well, no, it wouldn't, because number one, he's officially dead in the MCU, so he wouldn't need to be back, or else what would be the point of his death in the first place? Um, secondly... We've seen other actors move from franchises to franchises. For example, Ben Affleck from Daredevil to Batman and Michael Keaton from Batman to The Vulture and Jared Leto from Joker to Mobius. So anything could really be possible. Okay, so if this news was to be true, which role would he be playing? Now the closest upcoming movie that is yet to film is the Flash movie and they're still doing castings for that as well. So if anything, he would be in talks to play a character from that of the Flash movie coming out in 2022 and will begin shooting next year. Um, also, he he is doing some projects with Warner Brothers. I think, I think it was Sherlock Holmes. I cannot remember. But he is doing a new project with Warner Brothers as well. So him... Working with DC is quite possible as well because it's related to Warner Brothers as well. But which character would he be playing if he were to be in this Flash movie? So he could obviously be playing Eobard Thon, aka the Reverse Flash. However, it's very unlikely for him to happen because if they're going to, if they did like a sequel on the Flash thing, like they would have to pay him a lot of money for him to just be like be in the those flash movies as the main villain so it's very unlikely for him to accept playing the main villain and also he doesn't really look the part but one role that is more likely to happen and it is like a one-off thing so they could just pay robert downey jr for that role only and it is a one-off thing because it, this this character is only there for like one storyline and that is of thomas wayne aka flashpoint batman so for those who aren't aware of the Flashpoint story or the Thomas Wayne character, I will give you guys a quick summary to what's happened. So Barry Allen runs back in time to the year his mother died and he stops the reverse Flash from killing his mother. In doing so, he creates an alternate timeline called Flashpoint. So after that, Barry wakes up somewhere and he notices that he has lost his powers. And he also notices stuff like members of the Justice League being not themselves as the Atlanteans and the Amazonians are now at war with each other. And so are Wonder Woman and Aquaman fighting each other. Barry goes to the Batcave to get the help of Bruce Wayne. But what he notices is this version of Batman he is seeing right in front of him is a very different Batman to the one he knows. And he beats Barry Allen up. And we get the reveal that this is Thomas Wayne, not Bruce Wayne. And Thomas Wayne is Bruce Wayne's father, by the way. Now, we find out due to Flashpoint, in the alleyway where Batman's journey has begun, Joe Chill has killed Bruce Wayne instead of Thomas Wayne. 
So this leads to Thomas Wayne becoming the Dark Knight. Now, the two differences between these two Batmans is that Thomas Wayne's version does kill. Like, he doesn't spare lives. He's not like Bruce Wayne's Batman. So, like, he's not afraid to kill. For example, for example, in in the Flashpoint comic, there's this villain called Yo-Yo, I think it was. Who was like this different take of Harley Quinn. And he just drops her from a building. So, like, he doesn't care if he kills people. So, Thomas Wayne helps Barry get his powers back. So they can team up and stop like Wonder Woman and stuff. And they go after like Superman so they could recruit Superman, other things like that. But this then leads to the reverse Flash encounter where we find out that Eo Eobard has become a time paradox. So whatever happens to Barry, Eobard will always be the reverse Flash. So Thon can finally kill Barry, which he has wished to do for so long. But he fails to do so because Thomas Wayne's Batman kills him. Then Enchantress ends up working with Wonder Woman. So she makes the, like this explosion where Barry is forced to restore the timeline to how it was. Therefore creating the new 52 in the comics. Now obviously there will be some differences from the comic and the movie version. So not, not everything that I've just said to you guys will, may actually happen. For example, if they do put Thomas Wayne's Batman... Onto this, I don't see him killing Eobarthon. I would see Barry like defeating Eobarthon, because like it's the Flash's movie, so it won't make sense if like another character defeats the main villain of that movie. And that is obviously if they are gonna do if they are gonna do Thomas Wayne's Batman. Personally, I don't think you like you could do Flashpoint without without a Thomas Wayne's Batman. Like you may you do need him to be there. And yes, the TV show has done it, but that one that one wasn't so great. And we didn't have Thomas Wayne's Batman over there as well. We had a totally different Flashpoint than the one in the comics. But this is a movie, so like they should be like as comic accurate as possible. But so far, what what we do know is that the movie will be based on Flashpoint. And we will be getting the Wonder Woman versus Aquaman as well. If both actors' schedules are free. So... So far, it seems pretty comic accurate. But this is pretty much all that Thomas Wayne does. And as I said, he is a one-off thing. So they could just pay Robert Downey Jr. for this. And he doesn't have to be in any other movie. Now, I personally think Robert Downey Jr. does look the part as well. And like he's already played some like a rich billionaire character as well. So he, he would be used to it by now as he played Iron Man. And like Iron Man and Batman aren't aren't that similar but they are quite similar in the same time as well but and seeing him put on the bat suit will be really really awesome as well so yeah you guys this is why i think that the most likely option for robert downey jr to play would be thomas wayne aka flashpoint batman now as i said this news isn't 100 percent certain if it's up to me i would say it's fake because as i said there's no evidence related to this whatsoever but Again, as I said as well, this is the movie world, so anything could be possible. But yeah, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think of this. And also, I am planning on releasing a Batman video later tonight as well. If I can, I will do it. If I can't, I will, do, I will try and do it tomorrow. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.